I didn't take investing and in savings seriously when I first came in the military. So I would like to, you know, bring awareness to that. The reason to invest, and especially at a young age, is so you set your future up for success. You have to not only think about yourself, but your family and your children. It's really important to start investing early and as often as you can, uh, so you can help grow your nest egg over time. Put the money to work for you. The first part of your investment strategy should be to pay off high interest debt. If you have multiple credit cards, pay off the one with the highest interest rate first. One of the problems with high interest rate is that you're gonna be paying more than you could ever expect to get in, in your investments. The reason you wanna make paying off high interest debt a priority is because you wanna be able to prevent yourself from digging such a hole that you cannot get out of later on. One of the most important pieces of advice I would offer members of the military is to set up their TSP as soon as possible. The TSP is the Thrift Savings Plan. It's a part of your military retirement plan. The TSP offers diversified investments, low fees, and tax advantages. In the new blended retirement system, uh, the military will match some of your contributions. So if you contribute anywhere between 1 and 5%, the military will match that. If you're not contributing up to 5%, you're leaving free money on the table. Your TSP does not go away. It, like you get out of the military, your TSP stays, continues to be in a diversified account with low fees, and it keeps growing. Unfortunately, members of the military or retired military personnel uh, are targets of fraud and at risk of investment fraud. In fact, I recently received an email recommending that I invest in certain things, and it seemed like it might be an opportunity that was too good to be true. I went to investor.gov, I found out that the individual was not registered, and I made a decision that was just not the right opportunity for me to invest in. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. One thing I would caution members of the military is if you were offered an investment opportunity where you have guaranteed high returns, make sure you slow down, do your homework, ask questions. Even if your friends are investing, you still need to do your own independent research and make sure that you're comfortable with this investment. For military personnel, the first place they should look for investment resources is Investor.gov, which has a dedicated page for military personnel. Go to Investor.gov for information on how to invest wisely and avoid fraud.